Hey Free Life families, my name is Miss Genesis and I'm so excited about the lesson we're going to be learning about this week. This week we are going to see a day where people were celebrating Jesus. Now let's go ahead and get started with worship so everyone get ready to dance and sing. God's Story, Palm Sunday. So part of God's story happened on a day we call Palm Sunday, and it begins like this. Remember how God sent his son Jesus to rescue us? Well, not everybody believed that Jesus was really God's son and the rescuer, but the ones who did believe in him did something pretty cool on Palm Sunday. It started just like any other day for Jesus. He was heading into Jerusalem with his disciples. But before they got there, Jesus did something surprising. He stopped and sent two of his disciples to go get a young donkey from a nearby village. He even told them exactly where the owner had last tied it up. They weren't sure why he needed the donkey, but they obeyed him. Kids, would you be willing to obey Jesus even if he asked you to do something you didn't understand? Anyway, when the disciples got back with the donkey, they threw their coats on its back like a saddle and Jesus climbed up. Pretty soon, the disciples saw why Jesus needed it. See, crowds of people came to the road and started laying coats and tree branches to make a path for Jesus. When this happened, many people recognized that Jesus was a king. Only kings came into a city like this. So Jesus rode the donkey like he was a one-man parade. And the crowds praised Jesus by yelling things like, Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord, and peace in heaven and glory in the highest, because they believed Jesus was the rescuer. But remember how some people didn't believe Jesus was God's son? Well, they told Jesus to make everybody stop yelling. They didn't think Jesus deserved to be treated like a king. You know what Jesus said? He told them, if they keep quiet, the rocks will cry out. Well, the people who didn't believe in Jesus didn't like thinking about people or rocks praising him. And that made Jesus sad. He actually started crying. And not just crying, Weeping. Here, the people were standing next to the rescuer they'd been wanting and waiting for their whole lives, and they were missing it. 
But even though Jesus cried, Palm Sunday isn't a sad story. Easter is all about Jesus' amazing rescue, and Palm Sunday is a reminder of just how special that rescue is, and how much Jesus loves everyone. And that's the story of Palm Sunday. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Jesus was traveling. He sent his disciples to get a donkey. People spread coats and branches on the road. They praised Jesus. Some people didn't recognize that he was the king. That made Jesus sad. He had come to rescue them. A few days later, he would show just how much he loves us. And that's a part of God's story. In this Bible story, we learned about Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday was a day where people were celebrating Jesus. You see, these people, they heard that Jesus was doing incredible things. And when they found out he was coming to their town, they were so excited. This is like if a movie star or your favorite singer or your favorite athlete walked right into your house. You would be super excited, right? So Jesus, as he was on his way to Jerusalem, he realized that he needed a ride. So he asked someone to give him a donkey. When he got this donkey and he started riding into the town, people had palm leaves and they were fanning him. They were cheering and they were so excited to see him. Everyone was shouting, Hosanna! Can everyone say Hosanna as loud as you can on the count of three? Ready? One, two, three. Hosanna! Yes, so my favorite part of this story is that everyone had a role in this story. Someone needed to grab a donkey for Jesus. Some people were fanning Jesus with palm leaves and other people were celebrating. What I love about this story is that everyone was included and just like today, we're included in God's plan too. And that brings us to our big idea. It's the big idea. I am included in God's plans. Just like each and every single one of these people in this Bible story, we're a part of God's plan too. Maybe we can pray for somebody or help someone feel super celebrated, but God wants us all to know that He loves us all so much and that He wants us to be a family. Now let's go ahead and end this Bible lesson in prayer so everyone watching, bow your heads and close your eyes. God, thank you so much for reminding us that you want us to be a family. Help us to do our part and to make sure that we're doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We love you so much and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let's all keep watching for one more video. I was watching your show with my friends. It's so cool to know all these things about God's plans for us. But is there anything we can do for God? Whoa! First, thanks for tuning in. And second, that is such an interesting question. God made the universe and the earth and knows everything, right? God is ginormous, but I wonder if I can do anything for God. Maybe today's Bible story will help. I like to think of the Bible like a big blueprint for God's ideas for all of us. They are so helpful. Let's jump into our Bible story to see if we can discover ways that we can do things for God. It's time for our Bible story. Are you ready to learn about what Jesus was doing in Jerusalem? Jerusalem was a center of life for God's people back then. And even today, it's one of the most visited and holy places on earth. Awesome. In today's Bible story, Jesus is getting ready to go into the city of Jerusalem for a big celebration. Everyone must have been excited. You bet. People were so happy singing and shouting and dancing. People were waving palm branches and singing to Jesus. Even with all of the celebration going on, Jesus needed a ride into the city. I bet. Maybe a beautiful horse and carriage? You would think so, right? But Jesus told his disciples to go find 
a donkey. A donkey? That's what Jesus said. It wasn't even a big donkey. It was a small donkey that no one had ever ridden before. Why a donkey? Jesus had his reasons. Among them, Jesus wanted to show everyone that even though he was God's son and the most powerful king there was, he was going to do things God's way. And that meant he wasn't going to be the kind of king that won battles. He was going to be the kind of king that would lay down his life for everyone's sins. Jesus knew that by obeying God's plans, he was doing what God wanted done for not just a few people, but for the whole world. Does that include me? Of course it does. It includes you, me, everybody. I mean, everyone has a place in God's plans. Even a donkey? Yes, even a donkey. As Jesus rode that donkey into Jerusalem, the people placed branches and even their own cloaks on the ground for him. They even cheered for him, shouting, Hosanna, which means... Save us. That's right. The people were so excited about this Savior that was coming to save them. But they would soon learn that God's plan was not about saving them from the rulers. It would be to make sure all of them could be given a new life with God through Jesus. story told us that Jesus went out of his way to make sure everyone can be saved just like God wanted. He even brought a donkey into his little parade into Jerusalem. I'm so happy to know that God's plans could be for anything in the whole wide world. I am included in God's plans. God's plans to save all people through Jesus includes me and you. So friend, I'm glad you ask what we can do for God. I would say the first thing would be to say thank you to God for the wonderful plan to save us. But I'm sure there are other things you can do. Sing a song, pray a prayer. This may be silly, but I might even write God a thank you card. Friends, it's been such a wonderful time with you. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Catch you next time. Peace.